Introduction. Human beings have always been interested to know what everything around us is made of. So the existence of atoms was actually proposed since the time of early Indians and Greek philosophers, that is close to 400 BC. So according to uh, the Indian philosophers, two Sanskrit words can be used to describe an atom. That is Anu and Paramanu. So Anu is like the smallest particle. Uh, Luc Lucippus and his pupil Democritus were the Greek philosophers who said that matter was composed of indivisible particles, which is called as atoms. So the word atom is actually derived from the Greek word called atomio, which means uncuttable or non-divisible. So uh, over time in, uh, in the 18th, uh, sorry, the early 19th century, it was John Dalton, who was, an who was actually an English teacher who had come up with the Dalton's atomic theory. And this was in the year 1803. So this theory was discussed in detail in the previous chapter. If you would like to learn more about it, do check it out. But there's one uh, important postulate of this theory where he said that atom is indivisible in nature. So over time, after a lot of uh, basically in the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century, there was a lot of scientific discovery happening. And that's when scientists realized that atom is actually divisible and it consists of three main subatomic particles called as electrons, neutrons and protons. Further research has been is going on to figure out what it further of all these particles are further made of. Uh, but the thing is, Atom, according to Dalton, was said to be indivisible, but in reality, it is divisible in nature. So in this chapter, we will be studying about the discovery of these subatomic particles, the atomic models, and uh, I'm sure you would have learned the Bohr's model. Uh, so why was there a Bohr's model of the atom that had come up? And we're going to talk about specifically for hydrogen. And the more the recent one, that is a quantum mechanical model, is the one which is accepted. And uh, we'll be learning more about why we, we had to shift from Bohr's atomic theory to the quantum mechanical model of the atom. So the next video is going to be about the discovery of subatomic particles, where we specifically talk about the discovery of electrons.